Hola a todos and welcome to a new Spanish lesson with me, Sebas. Today I would like to show you the extra phonemes which are not considered on the Spanish alphabet as they are conformed by two letters. And we call them as digraphos or diagraph in English. I consider this topic in the introduction series because I think that the most basic thing to do is to learn to read in Spanish. So once you know the 27 letters from the alphabet and the five diagraph, then you're ready to study Spanish in the right way. So I guess that you have already seen my last video about the Spanish alphabet. For this video, the dynamic will be basically the same. I will show you the five diagraph, tell you an example, and finally a short explanation. Comencemos. Che, chocolate. So, as I probably mentioned in some videos before, the letter Che has a similar sound to English but a little bit stronger. A curious fact is that this actually used to be considered as a letter by the Rai until 2010. G U, guerra, guitarra. This diagram represents the phoneme for the combination between letters G and vowels E and I. This makes that the letter U is soundless. U U, queso, quinto. This basically has the same rules from the previous diagraph. In combination with vowels E and I, this makes the vowel U soundless. The only difference is that this is the only use for consonant Q. Double L, llama. Every time you see a double L, it will have a similar sound to letter Y. The same as diagraph CHE, this was considered as a letter by the RAE until 2010. Double R, torre. This diagraph has the same sound as the consonant R before vowels. As you see, it's much stronger than the other sound from letter R. Notice that there are no words which start with a double R. Felicidades! Today you have learned about the Spanish diagraph. I will have to say that once you know this and the Spanish alphabet, you are ready to read in Spanish with a good pronunciation. Now I have a news for you guys. I have opened a Facebook account and I will be uploading some amazing material so you can keep learning when you scroll on your mobile. I will put the link on the description below. If you have any question, opinion or recommendation, just leave your comment below. And if you like this video, thumb up and subscribe. Soy Sebas y hasta la próxima.